Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Chavita Christie and in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can add parameters to procedures. So let's begin. Now consider the possibility that you might have several people coming to your application and have, they might be coming from different locations and instead of uh, saying hello world or hello universe, you might want to say hello and the name of the location of that person. For example, if um, somebody is coming from Germany, you might want to say hello Germany instead of saying hello world or hello universe. Now you can imagine that for each and every case, you cannot write a different procedure because there are so many places that a person could come from. And if you write a procedure for each place separately, it will make your code uh, uh, very much difficult to handle and there will be a lot of repetition of, um, course of, of your code. So in order to avoid that, we could decide what part of our message is going to be static, static in the sense it's not going to change. For example, the word hello is not going to change. So I can keep hello fixed in one position. And then the second part of my message, which is the location, uh, which is dynamic because it's going to change according to the location of the user that is trying to access my website. So in that case, only that much part will be changing and I can pass it from outside as, as a parameter. Uh, like you would have parameters and functions in other programming languages. So in the same way, I could pass this name of the location as a parameter from the outside. So let's see how to do that in PLSQL. Since you now know what procedures are, uh, you can go ahead and watch the videos linked down below if you don't know what procedures are. So, and uh, procedures provide you a very good modularity. So that means your code is all stored in one, one place. And if you want to use the same type of code in your system again, in your application again, you just have to call the procedure. So you, you won't end up repeating that code several times. So if I've written hello world, I can uh, change hello world to hello universe by just making change in just one position and that change will happen everywhere else even though I have used the same course everywhere else so this is all right this this works fine so let me just show you if I want to change hello world to hello universe what am I going to do I'm going to write the same hello world code again but instead of world I can write down universe. So let us see. Uh, this is what I would do. Create or replace procedure. And once again, we write the name of the procedure, which is hello universe. And then we write the keyword is, which tells us that the procedure is now beginning from this position. And then of course, here we are going to mention the variable that we are using. So I'm writing the variable name message and giving it a data type variable character with 100 bytes size and assigning the words hello universe to it. So you can see instead of hello world, I have assigned hello universe. So what next? Next, I'm going to write my begin block. And in the begin block, I'm going to write down a simple print statement, which is in PLSQL dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. And here I'm going to pass the variable that I created, which is message. And once that variable is passed, you know what I need to do now. I need to write down here end and over there I'm simply going to mention hello 
universe. Sorry, <laughs> too much exclamation, right? So hello universe and simply put a, a semicolon over there to show that this is where your code is ending. So this is all right. Okay, if I'm going to obviously run this code, let me uh, do that too. So this is P my SQL plus the command line and make sure you are doing set server output on. This is necessary if you want anything to be displayed. So whenever you're starting afresh, that means you're starting your program, your PLSQL um, command line. Uh, whenever you start it, in the beginning, if you're going to run a PLSQL code, then just make sure that this is uh, set to on. And once it is set to on, you can just uh, then paste your code. So I've already copied it and I can paste it now. So this is my code. Press enter and forward slash to run the code. And it says procedure created. So now this procedure is created. And when it says procedure created, that means there's no there are no errors in this procedure. If, however, you get the message procedure created with compilation errors, then in that case, you might have to compare your code with mine and just verify and try to update some of the things. So now in order to make this procedure actually do its work, I'm going to write another PLSQL block. So I will write down begin to begin my block. And because it's only three lines, I'm typing it right here in the command line. And begin and I'm going to call out the procedure so this is the name of the procedure. Just write down the name directly, end with a semicolon. And then you write down end with a semicolon again and forward slash. And you can see it says PLSQ procedure successfully completed. And at the same time, it also prints hello universe. So I have successfully changed hello world to hello universe. And this is all right. But like I mentioned before, what happens when you want to display several messages, like like if somebody's from Germany, you want to display hello Germany and hello um, hello US or hello UK or hello India, that type of a thing. What do you do at that time? Are you always going to go on changing this in this manner? I'm sure it's not very efficient. So this this brings us to our next part of plsql and this is where you will study how to pass parameters so what we do is uh we will take a look once again at our code that we have written and it is you know here in this code uh you can realize now what exactly you need to change the word hello in the message remains as it is. So hello remains as it is. But instead of universe, I'm going to mention names of different type, different places. So the hello is static and universe is dynamic. So once you've recognized the parts of your message, which are static and the parts that are dynamic, you can then use parameters which are passed to this procedure when it is called. So while calling the procedure, you will be passing a parameter and that would be used to display the message. And let me show you that here. So you don't have to change this code completely. You'll just have to make a few changes. So first, right away, because I no longer want to display Hello Universe, uh, let me just rename this to Hello Place. And now since it is renamed to hello place, the next thing that here I have written is the keyword is, but instead of that, I'm just going to, before that, I'm going to mention the parameters. So this is the place where my parameters will be mentioned. So I want to uh, give it, a, my, my parameter, I want to name it as place, okay. And next to it, I'm going to write down 
the keyword in. Now, uh, also I need to obviously mention the data type and I don't need to mention the size, but I have mentioned the keyword in. So what, what this keyword actually uh, does is it mentions, uh, it, it specifies that place is something that is going to come in as an input. That is why we've written in. If there was something that was going out of the procedure, then we would have written out. And I will give you an example of that later on. But right now, this is a keyword in. Later on, we are going to do procedures in other videos. And there I will explain the keyword out also. But right now, there is the keyword in. And after that, I've written is. And then once again, message and variable character. And in the message, I am not going to write hello universe. I'm going to once again perform concatenation. So once again, we will be using, you close the string here, and we will be using those two pipes, and we are going to write down place. So place is the variable that's coming from outside when the procedure is called, and hello right here is a string, and we are concatenating both of them. Okay, and then the rest of my program just simply prints dbms output, put underscore align, this thing, it's just printing the message. And then end, instead of hello universe, I'm going to write down here, hello place, because I've changed the name of my procedure to hello place. And now this part is done. And once the procedure is ready, obviously what you would do is go back to your PLSQL command line and let me just clear out whatever I've done before. So I will use the clear screen function and here I'm going to paste the procedure that I created. Once the procedure is pasted, press forward slash to run it and it says procedure created. So there are no errors. If you have any errors, however, please wait pause the video and take time to solve those errors and then run it. Now the procedure is created. In order to now call this procedure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down a PLSQL block that is begin and after begin, I will write down hello place and while calling this I'm going to type in the name of a place. So for example, I want to type India. Then maybe I also want to call it again. And next time I want to type something else. Like I want to type um, probably US. So this is what I've done. And in the end, I'm just going to end the block and forward slash. So here it gives me an error. It says, hello, place must be declared. So probably I made some sort of a mistake here. Okay, I copied the wrong code. So let me just go ahead and paste this code here. And once again do clear screen this is the code that we did earlier and that's why it's pasted here so let me paste it once again now it is hello place so it's the correct code forward slash procedure created and now i can write down my begin block so i will write begin hello place and here i'm going to mention india and second time I want to call the same procedure, but I'm going to mention US. And then I can end this and forward slash. And you can see now it's working perfectly fine. It prints hello India as well as hello US and also gives me the message that procedure is successfully completed. So this is how you can add parameters to procedures. I hope you understood everything that I explained here. And 
that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.